find the most valuable is that you stand on your own two feet. That nobody else is going to do the things which are yours to be done in the world. She was the voice of the downtrodden, the first lady of the world, Eleanor Roosevelt. She was born into a political family and married her distant cousin, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Her marriage to Franklin was a challenging one, but it was a great partnership, and she kept growing from it. She never quit growing. When FDR was stricken with polio in 1921, Eleanor encouraged him to fight back. In 1933, their joint resolve led him to the White House, where she served as the eyes and ears of the president. She influenced the way that not only the president, but the rest of his government looked at uh, problems. Many people wanted to forget uh, uh, the Depression because of, you know, the drag that it put on our economy. They, she kept going down coal mines and reminding people there were still many, many Americans left out. After her husband's death at the end of World War II, Eleanor Roosevelt went to work for the fledgling United Nations. This Universal Declaration of Human Rights may well become the international Magna Carta of all men everywhere. To this day, Eleanor Roosevelt remains a beacon, a worldwide symbol of hope, freedom, and equality. Like Eleanor Roosevelt, number 92 on our list also championed the poor and the sick, and she never hesitated to get her hands dirty. In 1854, Florence Nightingale brought nurses to Turkey to help British troops wounded in the Crimean War. She was shocked by the filth and disease, but reduced the hospital mortality rate to only 2%. The soldier she nursed called Nightingale the lady with a lamp. One test of the importance of an individual is do their names become metaphors for who they are? So if we say somebody's a Florence Nightingale now, there's never any question what we mean. We mean somebody who ministers to someone else with the purpose of making them better. Nightingale didn't just save a handful of men. She set the standard for clean, safe hospitals around the world. Standards we continue to rely on today. You would have no idea how many hours I spent putting together my selection. It's got to be more than just somebody who's famous. It's got to be someone who, who left behind a legacy. 